Good morning, happy Vlogmas day, whatever day I post this. Um, I am going to do a get ready with me. I'm filming on my Ricky mirror. This is the first time I'm doing that with the little cell phone attachment. And so it's not the greatest angle, but this is all I can get. So I'm still in my pajamas. Um, just had a very slow morning. I have Christmas YouTube ambiance in the background. And I'm going to try and do my makeup in my cell phone instead of in my mirror. So we will see how this goes. I haven't done a get ready with me in a very long time. So I have some new products I'm gonna use from the last time I did this. And this is my little makeup bag. Um, it holds so much more stuff than it looks like it holds. And I got it on Amazon, I'll link it below. Um, what was I gonna say? All my dogs are looking at me because I'm talking. <laughs> um, so I have some new products since the last time I did this. So, um, excuse me. I will go through and show everything. And yeah, let's get going. So yeah, this holds, I'm dropping stuff on the floor. This holds a ton of stuff. Okay, so I keep all my makeup stuff in this bag because I usually will do it. I don't wear makeup a ton, um, but when I do, I usually put it on out here in our living room just because our, my hair, our house has horrible lighting. And so, in fact, I should turn on. That's just why, another reason why I use my Ricky light because as you can see in my glasses, <laughs> It has lights on it, so that helps a ton. So, um, the I always put in these clips now that I have long enough hair to do that. I got these from CO um, with one of my patches orders. They do those Botox patches um, that you can put on your face. They're like silicone, and I love them. And I or just ordered a big pack of them, so I'll have to show them in like a, a video when I do like a self care day or something. But they're amazing anyway, and they came with a whole thing of these hair clips. Okay, so one new thing I'm doing today is trying a different primer. So I'm going to use this e.l.f. Um, Power Grip because I saw it in someone else's YouTube video. And I was like, mm, I should try that because their makeup set better on it. What I have been using, and I do also like this, is the Tarte Smoothing Primer. I love Tarte. Um, and so... This is another good one, but we're just going to give this one a try and see if it sits dip my makeup sits differently um, than with the other one. Very exciting. <laughs> okay, this is like so up close and personal of my skin with y'all. So another reason I use my Ricky Mirror to do my makeup is because I'm blind as a bat <laughs> without my glasses. And so I can get, um, this is so, so you're just seeing all the flaws of my skin. Uh, I can just get right up close and personal. So here is this and it has a little squirty. Let's see what this is. Oh, ooh, it's kind of like a gel kind of interesting. I will say I was worried about it being like sticky, but it doesn't feel that way. I am so <laughs> blind. I do also have some stuff if you, if my Black Friday video I post before this, which I probably will. Um, but it's coming today from Tarte and I ordered the color correcting concealer and the dark spots. Um, so pink and green because green fights redness and pink does the dark fights the dark spots, but that hasn't come yet or I'd be putting that on next. Um, but it says to let this sit for 30 seconds to absorb and activate. So we will let it sit. Okay, so while this is sitting, I'm gonna show you some of my other foundations. I have the Il Maquillage, which I feel like does not have the effect on me that it does in the ad. 
was surprised. And then I have the Marajuku Tinted Hydrator from Tarte. I love this just for something very, very light. It doesn't cover a lot, but it just feels nice on the skin and it does kind of even you out. And then I just ordered this It Cosmetics Pure Skin But Better CC Cream with the anti-aging hydrating serum um, because your girl is aging. But I think I got too dark of a color for, Timber just laid down and moved everything, for um, my winter skin. So I got fair light, <laughs> you would think it would be okay, but it's a little, little too dark. I ordered it online, um, so that's probably part of my problem. So today I'm gonna put on the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. This is a drugstore uh, foundation. You can get it at Walmart. Uh, I got it in Nude Ivory, which is a much better color for me right now. And you can see, like, this is definitely lighter. So, let me see what brush I'm going to use today. It is kind of hard to find things in this. <laughs> um, what am I saying? This bag. So I'm just going to use a beauty blender. And yeah, I am definitely not a makeup artist. And everything I know, literally, I've learned from watching other people apply their makeup. I do not... See to save my life. Okay, Scott is feeding the dogs in the background. So um, I like this foundation because it's so light and it doesn't feel like you have stuff on your skin. I hate the feeling of feeling like I have a ton of stuff on my face. Um, so yeah. So next I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is Fair Neutral. Are we sensing a theme? My fair skin. <laughs> um, and this, to be careful, a little goes a long way with this so <coughs> and then i'll put it on that dark spot because i don't have my dark spot concealer yet it's out for delivery i won't get it till much later today bruiser eat your food and then with this Go ahead and use a different beauty blender. And just take it under my eye. And then this I kind of take like out and a little bit in my actual eyelid. Just get it to brighten up under there. I don't really luckily have like bags and lines under my eye yet. <laughs> so it's really just color correcting and brightening for me. I use the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream um, under eye cream. It's literally like my little thing of it is almost bare bones empty <laughs> I'm like scraping the remaining parts left to get it all and then I'm gonna use them if it works as well I have some Mario Badescu caffeine eye cream that I got I don't know as part of one of my orders so I was gonna try that because I have it and the confidence in a cream is kind of expensive but it's wor it works so We'll see how the Mario stuff does. 
and then I feel like this iPhone is is oh Rivers let him eat his food he's bullying bruiser and chihuahua this iPhone is like smoothing me out I think making me look a little a little smoother than I am okay and then I'm just gonna do oh my nose that is too much, it's too much, it's too much. I'll take it up. When I was little, I fell on the brick patio outside my grandparents' house. And I've had that ever since, that little red spot there. All right, let's do some contour. Okay, so for contour, I use this e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand in the shade Fair Light. <laughs> this, I think, is like the lightest one. Um, but I love these wands. Again, e.l.f. is a drugstore find, very affordable. You just squeeze it and it comes out the top. I don't know if that ever focused because I can't see. Okay, so I just do a couple dots here. I do under my chin. You can even do like that if you have a double chin like me. And I do my nose. And you just do it where you're wanting to create like a shadow. So we will do up here. You can kind of see just the natural shadows of your face is where you do contour. And yes, so let's, before we do that though, before we blend that, let's set, forgot to set my um, concealer. So this is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I use one of these cutie little sponges with it. it. Makes it so easy. And I kind of let that sit. Which you can't really see, but sometimes that shape tape will sit kind of funky in this. I like press in. Uh, this really smooths it out if there's any like awkward spots or clumping or anything like that. And I just put it everywhere I put my concealer. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go in and blend out this concealer. This is a brush I got from Saint, or mascara, however you know it, when my friend Mally was selling it. And I love it for blending out my concealer. Go eat your food, Bruiser. He doesn't like to eat his food when Scott feeds him. So I'm just Blending out so I don't have two lines down my nose, but I do have a more defined nose. And this I just kind of do up. I can't really see. next there's no rhyme or reason to the order I do this in. eek okay so I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is like everyone in the world um 
in shade caramel. Bruiser, whose food are you eating? And I just go through, I'm looking for a new brow game, by the way. Go through and brush these up. Um, sometimes I'll use the, um, the Mad Love, where it's like you stamp it on the, the uh, stencil. Bruiser, don't eat Timber's food. But not today. This is weird to do on my cell phone. I just kind of go in and fill in because like the hair on my head, my eyebrows are very thin. Okay, and they're also not the same shape, no matter how many times I go to someone professionally and try and have it fixed. <laughs> okay, another new product I'm going to use today is the Milani, again, drugstore, uh, eyeshadow primer. And this I am very excited about. And I have never used it before. Oh, interesting. I'm gonna pat it on your lid and then it says to let it sit for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. So it can sit while I do my cheeks. This might be too much, I don't know. I'll have to come back and let you know how it is to get the eyeshadow off. <laughs> I just use micellar water on my eyes to remove eye makeup and my lashes. Rivers, I dropped the lid. Bring that to mommy. Okay, for blush, right now I'm using the Tarte Man Eater, and this is actually a cheek plumping blush and glow. This is in the shade pink. It's very easy, and I love this. Um, it does feel like lip plump on your cheeks, but I am so bad about telling where to put blush and to do it evenly. Now I'm doing it on camera. I don't think that's even. That's okay. <laughs> and then I use the Another Saint brush to blend that out. And this blends out beautifully. Like it's so, probably my best blending product. Like, look, seamless. It's so good. Bruiser. One thing about Bruiser, if somebody leaves food in their bowl, he gonna get it. Yay. This blends so good. And it's just really, really light. Feels like nothing on your face. So good. So good. I need a new bronzer. So right now I'm using this, what did they call this? The Glow Bar from Tarte. Again, are you seeing a pattern in my products? So it's got a powders that you can use face, highlight, bronzer. Okay, so I will just use the bronzer and I just use this little buff end and go in with that and kind of do it on the tops of my cheekbone, just where I would normally get like sun if I ever got sun. 
your nose. And a little of this goes a, a very long way. See? <laughs> and then I just blend that out so that it doesn't look like I am <laughs> wearing a helmet or something. But a lot of times with my wigs, you, depending on what wig I wear, how I do my hair, you know, it covers some of this. Yay! Okay, we're gonna do eyeshadow now. So I'm using, keeping it simple today because I'm gonna be filming all day. I think one day I'm gonna do like film a different, like a fun eyeshadow looks and maybe do a different on each eye because I got the Barbie palette and I have um, the big Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. So there's a lot of fun looks I could do, um, but not for today. <laughs> so today I'm just using, I know kitty. I'm just using my Kylie Jenner. I think this is the bronze palette. Is that what it's called? I know Batman. It doesn't say, but I think that's what this one is. These are the colors. And this does have, um, this is the only palette of hers I have, but ah, it does have a really great close up mirror that I love. Um, the powders are super loose though. So like when I go in and I usually will start with the light shade. So this one is called Jasper. See how like so much comes off. <laughs> so I always have to tap it, but I'll go in and do my, it's easier to use this mirror, but I do my inner corners. That's Rivers when he's playing with a toy. I promise he's not dying. So I'll go in, do that just for brightening. And also another thing I should say about my eyeshadow is that since I wear glasses, it can look like a bunch and look kind of crazy or like I put on too much, but um, when I put my glasses on, it hides a lot of it, so that's why. And then I also will do up here that same color just under my brow line. Which this looks like so super bright in this camera, but in the mirror, it's actually not. Okay. So then let's go. This is a Saint brush. Two ends, this end for blending, which I love. Um, the other brush was just a mark. Remember when Avon used to have mark? Okay, <laughs> so then I'm gonna go in with a more just like neutral, there's shade. So let's see, let's do the topaz, which is the one I use a lot, as you can see in the pan. <laughs> and I'll just do that. I'm gonna do, use this mirror, but can you still see, yeah, on my lid. other eye okay then I'm gonna go and blend it in
Okay, so then I'll take usually like a darker shade. Well, actually, let's take some orange. We'll do the citrine. We're going big or going home today. <laughs> and I'll do that like on top, but not all the way over. It dripped into my eye. <laughs> and then we'll go on the other side. Okay, and we'll blend it out. So then sometimes I might do like a little dark on the outer edge, but I'm not gonna do that today because I'm gonna be filming all day. So I'm just gonna take um, a glitter shade, which we'll just do quartz and I use my finger. And I put that right on the top. Ooh la la. Same thing on the other eye, obviously. All right, now mascara. Anyway, so for mascara, I'm going to do the Tartlet tubing mascara. Um, I didn't love this the first time I used it and then the more I used it again and I did love it so here we are still using it um I also like the let me see what is in here aha the essence bye bye panda eyes so this is smudge proof and it's also really good, which maybe I should use this because I'm going to be filming today. Yeah, let's use this. So this is, um, you can get it on like Amazon. It's too, super cheap. So that last minute decision to change mascara there. My lashes are kind of a disaster because of putting on false lashes all the time, <laughs> but it is what it is. Okay. Oh, and a lip. I always forget a lip. I bought, I have so many that I love. Um, I love the, are you sensing a theme? The Tarte. Marajuku Juicy Lips. Um, they are kind of sticky though. So if you have from wearing a wig or something like hair will get stuck in these. I have the, and I have a couple of the Marajuku Lip Plumpers as well. I really like those. This is a Rare Beauty, super bright. Not, not the vibe today. <laughs> Let me see. I've got a couple Kylie shades. What's this one? Oh, this one is shade Kylie, which is a great, actually, I might do that one today. It's a pretty good neutral. 
And then I also have High Maintenance is another good Kylie lip. Um, I've been loving red lips lately, obviously, because of Taylor Swift. The thing about the Kylie matte is that they're so dry. So I actually have in the other room like a clear gloss that I will put on over this. That's Kylie as well, if I wear these, because otherwise my lips get so dry. Yay. So I'll go in and put the gloss over this because this dries really matte, as you can see. But for my setting spray, I use the Urban Decay All Nighter when I'm gonna be like filming all day or, or doing pictures or something just because it really, really holds. So here we go. Get the whole face wet, right? And then I will take like the bottom of my beauty blender and just like press in that spray. Gotta get that hold. Yay! <clears throat> Let me put my glasses on so I can actually see what I'm doing. That is the finished look you'll see on other videos I filmed today. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. I also wanted to say I will go through and link what I can um, through like to know it below so that you can shop any of these products that you are interested in. So that's all I wanted to add. <laughs>